Would you like to attract more paying clients? Easily gaining more prospects is not some elusive task that you must constantly chase after. Today I'm going to share with you proven strategies of how you can build more profitable business relationships with less effort. Ah, the never-ending quest of any entrepreneur to build business relationships often seems daunting. We crave building lists and turning prospects to customers because we know that what we offer will make their lives better. But it can be a challenging pursuit, and one that often causes many to freeze up in fear because they are just not sure what to give away or how much. So the question has been asked. Is free content the only way to attract your ideal client as an online business? This is a great question I hear often that I equate to dating, and so in turn I ask, are you looking for the one-night stand or something long-term? See, in order to answer the question properly, we need to look more in-depth at two areas, perception and goals. But which do you tackle first? I say it doesn't matter as they will both be relevant to each other. So let's look at goals first. Before you start down the path of what I offer to build business relationships, you need to ask yourself, what is my big goal I want from each prospect I engage? Am I looking for an encounter or a relationship? See, an encounter is typically a one-time occurrence. Someone is browsing around, sees something shiny and nice, and buys it where a relationship is more often someone not only interacting with your brand on a regular basis, but also shares your brand with those they know, usually resulting in a whole new relationship, and it goes on and on. The answer to this should be evident. You want the relationship where you not only get the repeat business, but you also get new business because of how awesome you are, and let's be honest, people share awesome. But you're talking about selling and money, and my question was about free content. So should I not have anything free? Hold on, that's where perception comes in. What? I said I can't hear you when I'm upside down. Oh, sorry. Perception in this case has two sides, yours and your prospects. But they both end up at the same goal. Let's talk about your perception first. Stop perceiving what you are providing initially as free. When you use the word free as you are creating your content, then you initially trap yourself in the free mentality and are probably cutting your prospects short. Instead of thinking free when crafting content, let's use the term investment, because that's what this really is, an investment into the future of both you and your prospect and the relationship you will both have. When thinking investment, you begin to think of worth, and so does your prospect. When thinking investment, you don't hold back as much, and you build that all-necessary capital of trust and authority from your prospects. You want the reaction from each prospect you interact with to be, wow, if they are giving this away, then the premium content must be truly awesome. Remember, investments take time to nurture and build in order to bear fruit, though. And working a new relationship alone, one-on-one, -on -one, can seem to take forever. But once you have that new relationship established, and you consistently wow them with the awesomeness, no matter if the content is free or premium, they will speak about you to others. Here is where the investment pays off. You actually have half the work already done with this new relationship, because if their friends trust you, and they trust their friends, then the fear and doubt of not knowing anything about you or your brand is already removed. Now to your prospects. There is tons of free out on the internet, but most of it at best is fluff and crap. So anytime a potential prospect sees free, they may have lots of interest, but they also usually have doubt before they even hit submit. So their perception of you and what you offer is already tainted. But when they receive your content that you invested in, you knock their socks off and wow the mess out of them with your awesomeness. So in the end, your goal for your prospect is based off of your perception of what you are initially providing to gain their interest. Your prospect's perception of you and your brand 
will skyrocket once they have received the awesome content you invested in to wow them into being a customer. When you make the investment to build that business relationship, then the perception gains clarity and the goal of your new relationship is profitable to both. I would love to hear from you and your thoughts, so leave a comment or a suggestion below and let's talk. And if you haven't already done so, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Wow the mess out of them without, your <clears throat> without knowing what you're wowing them about. Instead of free, when your potential is scrolling past because we know that we, we la, la, la. <laughs> let's try that again <laughs> but it can be challenging it can be challenging it can be challenging we crave building lists and turning prospects to <laughs> to something Let's just start over. Yourself, what is my big goal? And I, <clears throat> what is your big goal? And it scrolled past.